Good morning, I'm Michael Duncan. And I'm Brooke Winnie. And this is Refrain Day. Varsity Volleyball will play away at Lutheran Tournament on Saturday. Our Friday, on Friday, the varsity tennis team will continue with districts. The varsity volleyball team will be traveling to St. Charles to play Francis Howell at 4.30 p.m. Our varsity and junior varsity softball team will play Fatima Friday at Dunsey Field at 5 p.m. On Saturday, the JV volleyball team will be competing in the Kickapoo Tournament at Springfield, and the varsity team will compete in the Lutheran South Tournament. At 9 a.m., the Capital City Cross Country Challenge will begin. And the soccer boys will play at home against Hannibal at 11 a.m. Varsity football takes on Rockbridge at Atkins Stadium at 4 p.m. and at senior night. Very nice. In religious news, the sign-ups for the March for Life in Washington, D.C. have begun. The trip will be from Wednesday, January 20th to Saturday, January 23rd. Registration papers and money are due October 8th to Mrs. Quinn. Also, look on the bulletin to see all of the ACT prep classes available. The cost is $140 for each class. And one more thing is the senior retreat starts next week for senior girls. Permission slips are due this Friday for the senior boys and girls retreats that are happening next week and the next month. Boys permission slips are due next Friday. And now I have a special report with Katie Quinn and Mrs. Versoice's room. And always remember. Like Hi, I'm Caden Quinn with Around Elias, and we're here in Mrs. First Lois's room, and we're going to ask some questions. Um, so, what do you teach? I teach AP Calculus and Accelerated Pre-Cal. Right. Uh, what are your teaching goals this year? My main teaching goals are to help us get through the curriculum and help the students to learn everything they need in this class to prepare them for calculus and in the calculus classes to prepare them for college. Great. Um, and besides the curriculum, what do you hope to pass on to all your, all your students that have you as a teacher? Well, I hope to pass on a love of learning and a love of math, and I really hope to prepare them for the workload and the level of dedication that they'll need in a college level course. That's good. And I think that's all of the questions that we have. 